So today I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about guilds, including what you benefit from them, how to get into a good one, and how to be a good guildmate once you are in a good guild. You may hear a brief bit of hardcore thumping in the background. I don't have anyone tied up in the kitchen. It's actually just a bunny rabbit. It's very upset right now. I'm walking out here trying to figure out why the bunny rabbit is going crazy. And I looked and he's angry because the other bunny rabbit who we're in the process of trying to bond with this one has escaped from its enclosure and is now somewhere around our apartment. There you are, I see you. Back in we go. Okay, so let's talk about why you need to be in a good guild. When you're just starting out, typically you're going to be thrown into a starter guild. From there, you're going to upgrade eventually until you get into a higher tier starting guild. And then eventually you're going to find a guild on your own, break out, and you're going to be into probably like a 30 mil guild or something like that. Or you're doing Rancor, maybe not Tank, maybe not Sith if you're a newer player. Now, if you're in that type of position, I'm going to show you in a bit how to get into a better guild. But I'm going to tell you first now why you need to get into that better guild. And let me show you a few examples. So right now we got three raids going on today. We are in a higher tier guild. Now the first thing you're going to notice is that we have Symbol Rancor. Symbol Rancor, if you are in a higher tier guild and more people are capable of soloing the Rancor, is actually a better payout overall than if you just continue to solo the Rancor yourself. Um, the reason being you cannot consistently get first place or even top five or top ten over and over and over again. You'll be placed in the 20s and 30s as more and more people solo the Rancor. Sometimes you will get the top ranks, but Overall, the rewards will be better if you are simming them, plus it's better for the guild overall. Obviously, we're going to talk General Kenobi and Treya shards in the heroic tank and Sith raids. Now, the tank rewards are not as good as they used to be as they remove the challenge gear, but when they did it, they removed the most important bit of challenge gear would be in your golden eyeballs. Now, you can still get full med packs, full Mark III Bacta Geos, and a few other things that you do use. However, the tank rewards mainly are going to be your guild currency as well as your General Kenobi shards for the newer players. Now, heroic Sith is obviously, at this point, everyone knows. You need to get into the top 10 ranks of a heroic sith to really get massive payout rewards and in the top three you can very easily hit 5 to 10k crystals worth from one single raid payout. That's just talking raids. That's not even talking the higher tier rewards if we go into like things like territory wars where you get three Zetas for a win, tons of guild currency, or territory battles where you can get up to 10,000 guild currency throughout the entirety of that event. One other thing to keep in mind is even if you're in a guild that may be doing all the raids but you have 40 out of 50 members or maybe you have a lot of people that are AFK a lot or travel for business, um, Tickets are actually very important. Not getting your tickets, all 30K of them, it's obviously you're not always gonna get 30K every time, but if you have a lot of inactive players in your guild, consider making the switch as if you don't get the tickets consistently, you're gonna be missing out on a lot of raids over time. All right, so the first thing we're gonna have to talk about if we're talking guilds is how to get into a guild and if you're ready to get into a guild. So I'm gonna talk about first how to try to either cheese your way into a guild or get into a guild that maybe is better than what you're equipped for. So how I did it when I was starting out, I got into my first uh, like higher tier, 160, 150 mil plus guild um, when I was 600K power. So I'm gonna show you how I did that. I went to search here, I went to recommended, and I just started refreshing like this, just spamming refreshes, okay? And so I kept doing this until I see one that, let's see if we can get one here, that has a discord in the description, all right? So you just refresh, refresh, you find one that's higher tier. Let's say you're looking for either a heroic Sith or a heroic tank. And eventually you're gonna find one that in the description is going to have right there. Okay, so let's say this 42 out of 50, 108 mil. Let's say you're stuck in like a 30 mil guild, you're a newer player or something. Here's a 42 out of 50. It says a two mil required, etc. but you would go contact this guy, blah, 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 blah. So what I would do regardless of if it said needs JTR or GP or anything, I'd find these goats that had spots open because maybe they just want tickets at this point. And I'd send them a message on Discord by adding them and say, hey, look, I'm only 600, 700K power. I'm attempting to be a competitive player. I am focusing on the proper tunes. I will contribute as much as possible. Would you consider having me at lower than your standards? And be very polite about it. Be very honest about your situation. Tell them exactly what's going on. Now, if this may work. 
Um, it worked for me because I really grinded at it to I got someone that said yes. I would recommend doing this. Uh, some people may not appreciate you messaging them if you're like only 600, 700k power. It's okay. Eventually, you're going to get someone who's just really okay with it or just needs the tickets. So that's what I would recommend until you get like your first decent guild. This isn't going to work to get into like 190, 200 mil guild. This isn't going to work to get into a very competitive guild, but it will work to get into a guild that's better than just the standard random guild. So the next portion we're going to talk about is once you're in that guild, how to be a good guild mate. So you can either stay in that guild or at least not be hated while you are there. There's really three stages to being a good guild mate. The first of one is going to be participation. Now, this is like the bare minimum. If you want to stay in the guild, you at least have to do the things that the guild is there for, such as the territory battles, territory wars, raids, and getting your 600 tickets. This should be really self-explanatory. If you're not participating in all of the events for the guild, you don't really have a reason to be there. Obviously, there is excuses for if you're away, etc. But really, you need to participate if you want to stay. If you want to be able to stay in your guild over a long period of time, you're probably going to need some basic social skills. For these reasons, there's a few things you really don't want to do. You don't want to start drama either in the Discord and definitely not in the in-game chat. You don't want to try to disagree with people consistently, even if you have a differing point of view. It's fine to get in a debate about objectively better things in the game. It's not fine to harass the person and tell them what is or what is not better, as well as it's not fine to consistently attack the same person. You're just going to cause problems if you do have a problem with somebody. There tends to be three type of people in guild discords that I've noticed. One of which is going to be the introvert, the people that's just not really going to talk in the discord at all, but they are there reading. The other person is going to be the guy who just talks all the time. I talk a lot in guild discords because I like to chatter. But the third type of person is going to be somebody who has to debate literally everybody. So there, there's always going to be that person who wants to have a discussion about something. That's perfectly fine, but don't get baited in the conversations with this person over and over and over again to the point where you get annoyed by them. Eventually, it's going to make people leave. All of the guilds that I was in that I really liked but ended up leaving, unfortunately, was because of people in the Discord that just for whatever reason were going to continue to be there and drive me crazy. If you do have to move on, it's best just to do that instead of continuing to get into arguments with the person. You can always find another guild. Okay, so let's assume that you passed middle school and you understand participation and being a decent person. So now we're going to talk about progressing the guild. Every guild that I've joined, I have managed to become an officer and eventually. The reasons for this is I just did really the best I could um, to be a benefactor for the guild. Being active in the Discord can go a long way. It helps drives conversations as well as shows the guild that you're really there to participate and you're interested in the other people. Just joining, spamming the donations, um, not donating back, things of these nature really can make it seem like you're only there for the benefits and you're not really there to help the guild out. So going beyond and beyond for me is making sure that you're giving as much as you're taking. I'm gonna wrap up being a good guild mate with a few key points. Always participate. If you're requesting donations, donate back. Don't be a dick in the guild chat. Participate in the Discord conversations. And for the love of God, if you're going to be AFK or away from the guild as number five, make sure in the away channel of the Discord that you're telling them that, or at least telling an officer that, hey, I have to leave, do the medical, whatever. Emergencies happen. Obviously, you're not always going to be able to tell the person that you're not going to be away. But if you can strive to make that effort, it will go a long way. A few just real basic tips real quick that came off the top of my head. Um, if you are, in fact, going to request something for a donation, but there's nothing you really need right now, consider requesting like a white item or just something very useless. That way the people can at least donate um, and you can get that donate count in for them. And it also shows that you're not always requesting something completely obvious and, you know, like stun guns over and over again. If you're free to play, there's a really good guide that shows you how you can still get your 600 tickets even if you spend no money in the game and can only do one yellow refresh a day. I'll put the link in the description in case you need this. Also, keep in mind that everyone can see if you're donating or not. So if you're spamming stun guns, you've been in the guild for a year and you have zero lifetime donation contributions, there's probably a couple pissed off people. 
So that's going to conclude my guide on how to find a guild, how to stay in the guild, and how just to be a good person in general. I appreciate you watching this video. If you made it this far, please consider subscribing. My numbers are going up and up every day, and that's cool and fun and all that stuff. So I'd like to hit a thousand just as a goal. Uh, yeah, thanks. Have a good day.